Well, good evening, everybody. And I'm finally back to play another virtual concert after a few weeks absence. Thank you for joining me. And uh, tonight will be a lot of fun. I have uh, in-person guests tonight. I haven't had a live audience here at my home for a bit. I have Judy and Michael Moldauer with me from Albuquerque. Judy, her nickname is Banjo Judy, and she's produced a couple of concerts for me down there that have been very fun. And they wanted to come up and visit in Durango this week, so I'm happy to have them. And tonight's concert is the next in the Music by Decade series. It's called Music by Decade from 1930 to 1939. And this will probably be the last one of these that I do. I don't want to rule out doing a 1940s concert entirely, but I think it's unlikely that I'll do that. Um, I'm going to open the concert tonight with a huge medley of songs inspired by uh, the late Johnny Maddox and the way that he used to warm up for his act in the old nightclubs where he used to play. Uh, this is uh, not the first time I've done this now, so I think most of you probably know the routine. I'm going to play continuously for 30 minutes, uh, featuring nothing but songs from 1930 to 1939. And you can play along, try and guess the titles. I'll try and read some of it in the chat as I'm going. And uh, most of the ones I'm playing to begin the concert are more like pop songs. Not all of them, but most of them. And then in the second part of the concert, I'll be happy to take more requests. Won't be able to do that to begin with, but uh, I'll also be doing some songs from movies of the 1930s and so forth. And before I start, which is, this is what I've done before, I'll give you the titles of a couple of the lesser known songs um, that you might not recognize. These are mostly pop songs of the 1930s. Little Girl and uh, When Your Hair Has Turned to Silver. That's not a real common one. And I'm going to be doing The Old Spinning Wheel. Um, let's see. Most of the others are pretty famous. Uh, a great waltz called Paradise towards the end as well as um, Sigmund Romberg's When I Grow Too Old to Dream. And... Uh, just see how many of these you know, and I'm going to get things started. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> hey, thank you very much. Thank you so much, online and in person. Well, I think I'm officially warmed up now. <laughs> Leo says, the gang's all here. Yes, that's true. Well, I was reading the chat. I, I left it on YouTube while I was playing. And looks like some people had a little more trouble identifying these songs from the 30s than uh, the earlier periods, believe it or not. I, I saw someone guessed Swanee, which is not from the 1930s, and there was another, somebody guessed something else, and I thought, oh no, that's, that's not right. And Roll Out the Barrel, well, the correct title is Beer Barrel Polka. I, I've got all of these medleys that I have done in this series off of these old cassette tapes I have of Johnny Maddox, and I must have two or three boxes of cassette tapes that people have given me that they made when he was playing. And so I just went through one the other day and wrote down all these song titles. There might have been one or two that I couldn't identify on the recording. Um, most of them I knew. And the interesting thing is every time he played this medley of songs from the 30s, he said on the microphone that, you know, all these songs are very happy. They were all very upbeat, even though it was the Great Depression. The only one that wasn't, which I played in the middle of the medley, was uh, Brother Can You Spare a Dime. That's really the only one that was... Um, very sad. So uh, we're about 30 minutes into the concert and I like to mention that I do accept virtual tips for these performances. All you have to do is send in a tip on PayPal or Venmo and uh, the information is in the posting on all three websites. Let me check all three websites while I'm at it just to make sure they're still all working. Yeah, it looks like uh, everything's working. Okay. Oh, I see somebody subscribed to me on Twitch. Thank you, Backseat Saucman. <laughs> All right. I mentioned before that I could go through the previous concerts, at least on my YouTube channel. I can't do this on Facebook. But on my YouTube channel, I will post all the titles of the songs I played in the medley if you ever want to go back and watch these tunes. Oh, I see a request for The Very Thought of You. I'll, I'll do that. Um, in just a little bit. Let me let me do that and uh, get out my next list over here. The next thing I'd like to play for you is uh, I'm going to do a medley of two songs associated with Gene and Glenn, who were a big radio team in the 1930s. I learned all about Glenn Rowell from Johnny Maddox, and Glenn is not a household name today, but he was a big star in the 20s and 30s because of radio, and, uh oh hold on, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <laughs> summer is here in Durango, anyway, uh, Glenn was a very prolific songwriter, and his uh, best known tune, of course, is I Get the Blues When It Rains, which he wrote with his uh, 1920s radio partner, Ford Rush, they were called Ford and Glenn, then in the 30s, uh, he joined with Gene Carroll to form Gene and Glenn, and Gene and Glenn did not make nearly that many records, but in 1930 they made a handful of them, maybe half a dozen. And uh, the, w the one that seems to have sold the most copies, just judging by how many copies are still floating around, is this record of two songs that were very popular in 1930. One is called They Cut Down the Old Pine Tree, and then I'm going to follow that up with Whippoorwill, written by a songwriter named Cal Duvall, who must have been a close friend of Gene and Glenn because I've seen a, a lot of um, his music with their pictures on it. And uh, so uh, if you've never heard the record, look it up. But anyway, let me do these for you now. They, they cut down the old pine tree and whippoorwill. <laughs>
Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> Won't hear those songs very often anymore, but I have always loved that record. And I was thinking, well, those are some 30s tunes I hadn't played in a while. May, I may not have ever played those on a virtual concert yet. I suppose that's possible. Now, I'd like to get in as many requests as I can for the rest of the concert. And I saw one for a tune I was thinking about playing anyway. We're going to do The Very Thought of You. And this was written by the British band leader Ray Noble. I don't think he wrote it until about 1935. And uh, he recorded it with Al Boley singing the vocal. And Al Boley had one of the great voices of the period. He was kind of like the Bing Crosby in Great Britain. And I thought I'd do some Bing Crosby songs tonight too. But since I just had two requests for it, let's do The Very Thought of You. to hear everybody. Uh, oh, that's an interesting idea. I, guess I see a request. I'll do that here in just a minute. I have a couple on my list that I want to do. Um, let me think. Uh, what should I do next? Yeah, I saw multiple requests for Over the Rainbow prior to tonight's concert, so I'll do that towards the end of the concert. Have to stick around for that. Um, I'll tell you what I want to do next. As an example of the great movie musicals of the period, one of the very best of all of them, uh, was produced by Warner Brothers in 1932. And when the Depression hit, they quit making musicals for, you know, a year, two years maybe. And in 1932, this one was such a hit that it became a big trend all over again. And I'm talking about 42nd Street, the wonderful music by Harry Warren. And I know all four songs from the movie, so I thought I would play for you my entire 42nd Street medley. So let me do that next, and then I'll get that next request. Oh, let's see. <laughs>
120 listeners on YouTube. Not too bad for tonight. I appreciate it, folks. Especially because I had to, I had to take a few weeks off. And now let me see. Oh, I, I saw a request. Um, oh, looks like I can cover a couple of them now. I saw a request for uh, Georgia on my mind. I, I played that during the opening medley already. Uh, and I saw a request for Smoke Gets in Your Eyes written by Jerome Kern for the musical Roberta. So I can certainly play that, and what I'll do for you is I'll play, uh, here's a request that came in from Jim Moritz, for All the Things You Are, another Jerome Kern song. I'll play them together, both written in the 1930s. These are truly two of the most gorgeous songs in the American songbook. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, folks. Aren't those beautiful songs? Boy, hard to get better than that. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's do a 1930s tune that I uh, used to play more often. I don't think I've done it on any of my virtual concerts. Maybe I did uh, two or three years ago, I don't remember. But uh, we're going to do a song from another 1930s musical movie, which came out in 1933, I believe. And it starred uh, Joan Crawford and Clark Gable, if I'm not mistaken. Called, the movie was called Dancing Lady. There were a number of wonderful songs in this movie. I f finally watched it a few years ago because I've been playing this song for years. And the song is called Everything I Have Is Yours. And uh, I have a little arrangement that I worked up over the years. Johnny used to call this the divorce song. <laughs> so here's Everything I Have Is Yours from Dancing Lady. <laughs> that would be considered musicals, at least there was music in the movie. Whether he sang very much, I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Uh, well, it's past seven o'clock here in Durango, so you know what that means. It's time for the usual announcement. I do accept virtual tips for these concerts. All you have to do is send in a tip on PayPal or Venmo. It's very helpful to my career. And if you don't trust PayPal, uh, there's a PO box on my website for checks as well. And um, due to a couple of reasons, uh, my travel schedule and so forth, 
I am probably only going to be able to do the virtual concerts every other week for uh, only the summer season. I will certainly be doing it every week during the winter. Uh, I have more, um, more need of it at that time, less uh, work in person. But anyhow, uh, I don't plan to stop. I just am probably going to do every other week for the summer season through about, I don't know, September maybe, August or September, and I will keep you all posted on that. So the next virtual concert, if you're wondering, will be two weeks from tonight. I know a lot of you are not on Facebook and so you don't get the regular announcements, but I, I do always announce the concerts on Facebook two or three days ahead of time, just FYI. Now, any requests from the back row? What do you got, Michael? Uh, if I had you. 1928. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then their eyes were with Jeepers Creepers. I don't know any of those Two by heart. Songs. I don't know it and don't know them by heart. Um, well, let's see what's next on my list. Um, I do have to play this next thing for, for sure. I'm going to do a medley of songs that come from a 1933 W.C. Fields movie. And uh, this is one of the most interesting movies he ever made. It was called International House for Paramount. And uh, this was an early movie about television, the invention of TV. So the reason it was called International House is because people from all different countries came to bid on this new invention. And throughout the movie, uh, if you've never seen it, then on, on the TV, they show these remarkable performers, Rudy Valley, Cab Calloway, um, some vaudevillians, uh, Burns and Allen are in the movie, and then, uh, and then at the, towards the end of the movie, uh, my favorite scene, of course, is Baby Rose Marie. If you don't know who Rose Marie was, she later became very famous on the Dick Van Dyke Show, and I had the pleasure of meeting her twice, playing the piano for her, including this song. What I'm going to do is a medley of a number of the songs that are used in the movie. There's three songs, at least, that I uh, have identified and, and that I can play for you. The first one was originally written for another Paramount movie with Maurice Chevalier. The song is called Look What I've Got, and it was used sort of in the background during a number of scenes. Uh, if you watch the movie, you'll recognize the melody, I guarantee you. And then we're going to do the song that Rudy Valley sang, which is real pretty, called Thank Heaven For You and end with Baby Rosemary's uh, My Bluebird is Singing the Blues. And uh, I, I think it was Rosemary's daughter shared my uh, post about tonight's concert on Rosemary's Facebook page. It has a lot of followers. I, I don't know if she's listening, but I'd like to thank you for that. And uh, so I definitely want to play these songs. So now, from the W.C. Fields movie, International House, three songs. Thank you. 
for movies was really some of the most sophisticated popular music ever written. Uh, pianist Frederick Hodges showed me a whole lot of original orchestrations from the Paramount uh, movie archives, from movies like that, the Mae West movies and so forth. And if you look at the, the sophistication of the music, it's so remarkable. I could not sight read the piano parts. Um, and it changed keys about every four measures, and this is the background music that you're hearing in the or uh, in the movies from the orchestra. It's really amazing. Yeah, I left out Reefer Man. I, I certainly did. I left out the Cab Calloway tune. There might be one or two more in the movie, but those are the three that are pretty recognizable. Well, uh, keep thinking. I want to be sure and get something for you two. Lulu's back in town. Yeah, I can play it. Um, you don't have to. Keep, keep naming some more. When I play tunes, I like to play ones that I kind of have in a set arrangement. Where is you know what I mean? Gold I don't know that either. Um, I could do a Lulu's back in town. Maybe, maybe some other Fats Waller tunes. What other Fats Waller tunes do I know? <laughs> do you know? Because <laughs> he recorded that. Um, let me see. I've got a feeling I'm falling. Yeah, that's a, that's a great Fats Waller tune. Um, maybe I'll play that. It's not 30s, but that doesn't matter. Oh, just got just got a request uh, for that online. Or maybe Leo heard what you said. He says, play I've Got a Feeling I'm Falling. How about that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Little Fats Waller for you.
do with this. play that but um, okay. that's early 20s oh, uh, 1921 I uh, may go back further than that on player piano roll and I, I, th I don't think it's been that long since I played it um, let me oh hey Nathan how are you doing so I came up with uh, he's, I agree I agree uh, he's talking about the old-time piano championship they extended the dates for the contest to 1939 which is exactly what I'm doing with tonight's concert. And um, so uh, I agree, there's a lot of great tunes from the 30s. I tend to stray away from the true big band era tunes. I do know some of them. I'm not sure if I'd be able to come up, up with enough for uh, one of these full virtual concerts or not. Uh, 30s, mid 30s swing was kind of taking over from the Dixieland jazz sound. And it is a little bit different, but I, I love these 30s tunes and um, I want to play one for you that uh, I played uh, earlier this week in the Diamond Bell here in Durango. There were some tourists from Poland, believe it or not, and I believe this is an Eastern European melody. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what country it comes from. Oh, I see requests, As Time Goes By and Brother Can You Spare a Dime. I already played those during the opening medley, and you can always go back and watch these concerts again, too, by the way. Um, now... Uh, yeah, he says, surely you'll know enough big band songs. Well, I may know enough, but I prefer the earlier styles, and I'm probably probably going to do oh, just you know different concert themes in the future rather than doing this decade thing. Um, and back to this tune I was talking about. This is uh, uh, an Eastern European melody, which became a big hit in the United States in 1937. Original music was written by Shalom Secunda, and it is called By Mir Bists du Chain which means that you're grand. I know that Andrew's sisters sang this and probably a lot of other people. So I'm just going to improvise a little piano arrangement for you. And uh, here we go. By mere bits to shame.
very much, everybody. By mere Mr. to shame. Uh, the folks from uh, Europe seem to recognize that tune. I don't know the full history on it, but uh, it makes for a great kind of like stri- Um Let's see, what time is it? I've got uh, two songs in particular I'm already planning to close the concert with, uh, and make that three, actually. But that leaves me room for about one more request. And, you know, maybe I need to check Facebook. I haven't checked that website as often tonight, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and send in the requests, and I will... Um, Oh, Kathy Brown, I, I, I just now saw that you're listening on Facebook. Thanks so much. Yep. Let's see. It, you know, it takes a minute for the requests to come in on the chat, so I may wait just a minute because there's a slight delay over the Internet. Um, we're in the money. I don't know that by heart. What you got, Judy? Uh, Are we all good? Okay, in case you didn't hear that, let me announce it again real quick. I'm going to do one more tune that is associated with Baby Rose Marie, at, at least because she sang it in one of her Vitaphone shorts. She made one by herself, and then she was in one or two uh, where there were multiple vaudeville acts, and uh, this is a tune she sang called Sentimental Gentleman from Georgia. It's, it's a hot one. <laughs> and I, I promised a few people I'd play them, so anyway, concert might go a few minutes longer than that, that's all right. Uh, I saw many requests for a song that came out at the very end of the decade, 1939, one of the great classics of the period, and since it was just Judy Garland's birthday, let's do Over the Rainbow. And I pulled out the old cheap music so I could play the verse for you. I don't think Judy ever sang the verse in the movie but uh, makes the performance more interesting. So here we go, Over the Rainbow.
over the rainbow. Thank you very much, folks. Okay, well, we're down to the last two tunes for the night. I saw multiple requests for this, even though I've played it a number of times recently. I'm going to do it again because it is definitely a piece of music that I love very much. Uh, originally composed as an instrumental in 1934 by Peter de Rose. We're going to do Deep Purple. And uh, then after that, I'm going to play the tune that was on the flip side of the original Paul Whiteman record. But first, Deep Purple. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, uh, now if you're a musical historian, you might already be able to guess what's next. I learned this piece for uh, a concert. I did a virtual concert a few months ago where I played 
piano instrumental masterpieces of the jazz age. And I thought I'd try and play it again tonight. And like I said, this was featured on the flip side of the original um, Paul Whiteman record, uh, the instrumental version of Deep Purple. And it's called Park Avenue Fantasy. The Park Avenue Fantasy was composed by um, Matt Malnick, who's sometimes called Matty Melnick, I think, and Frank Signorelli. And uh, then the lyrics were added a couple of years later, and it became known as um, I'll Build a Stairway to the Stars. Stairway to the Stars is just a beautiful song. Here's the original instrumental version. Let me try it for you now. Uh, Park Avenue Fantasy.
you so very much, everybody. There's Park Avenue Fantasy. Well, thanks so much for listening tonight's, to tonight's concert. I hope you've enjoyed all this 1930s music. Technically, I didn't play a single note of ragtime tonight. Uh, the 30s, I think, it was probably one of the best decades uh, during the last uh, c concert uh, when I did the 1920s decade theme. I probably said that was my favorite, too, but it's hard to pick. And I sure appreciate those virtual tips, folks. It's not easy to make a living doing this kind of music, so if you can help me out, I appreciate it. I will be back two weeks from tonight with another virtual concert on all three websites. See you two weeks from tonight for another, another Sunday virtual concert.